Hi, welcome to my channel. In today's video, we visited the Pasig City Cemetery or also called Barracks located in my hometown of Pasig. Pasig City Cemetery measures less than 5 hectares and located in Barangay Canyogan along Si Raimundo Avenue in Pasig. Jovito Reyes Alonga was born on June 20, 1922 from Pasig. He completed his law degree at UP in 1946 and then in Harvard University for his Master's of Law and Yale University for his Doctor of Juridical Science Studies. Salonga married Lydia Busuego in 1948 who died earlier in year 2000. They had six children. Salonga's government service started in 1961 when he ran and was elected as congressman of Rizal 2nd District with a term until 1965. In 1965, he was then elected as senator until 1972. However, in August 1971, the LP rally in Plaza Miranda was bombed and he was severely injured but survived with impaired eyesight and hearing. Nevertheless, he topped his re-election bid for another Senate term. However, in September 1972, Philippine Congress was dissolved due to the proclamation of martial law by then-President Marcos, resulting to the arrest of many notable individuals in the opposition, including Salonga. After the Etse People Power Revolution, he was appointed by then-President Coraquino to head the PCGG for the recovery of the Marcos ill-gotten wealth until March 1987 when he decided to run for senator for the 8th Congress. From 1987 to 1992, he served as senator and became the 14th Senate President. Despite his age at 71, he ran for 1992 presidential election but only landed 6th place with Fidel Ramos got the highest vote that became the 12th Philippine President. Salonga retired from government service after his unsuccessful presidential bid. During his retirement years, he wrote and published several books including 2000 Presidential Plunder, 2001 A Journey of Struggle and Hope, 2003 The Intangibles That Make a Nation Great, 2005 The Tasks of Building a Better Nation. Alam ninyo, tatlong uri ng tao, ng mga tao, meron tayo. The people who make things happen, sila ang gumagawa upang magkaroon ng mga pangyayari sa lipunan. The people, secondly, the people who just watch everything that happened. At ang karamihan ng Pilipino, ganyan. They're merely spectators. They write about it, but they just are spectators. And number three, the third kind of people are those who do not know what's happening. They are watching and they cannot understand what's happening.
these are the three kind of people. And I thought I would close this little interview by saying we should belong to the first category. Whether in government, kaysa kay nanonungkulan, o ikaw ay basta mamamayan, we should do everything within our power to make things happen. In March 2016, Salonga died at the age of 95 as a result of cardiac arrest. In the next episode, we will post videos of the continuation of our Loyola Marikina and our recent visit of Manila Memorial Park in Suka. Later in this channel, please watch our Grape Tour videos of the Parted President's Grape Tour series. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you like this video. See you in our next Grape Tour of the famous episode.